Hello guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a 3x3 Tribus Octahedron. You will need a 3x3x3 cube of your choice, and 6 edges or corners, well some cubies that you don't need anymore, and some kind of filler, preferably epoxy sculpt, and of course either a hexo or a belt sander or something like this. First of all I'm going to describe how the corners have to look like. All corners have to look um, the same, like the corners of a half truncated cube. I like to describe the tribus octahedron as a full truncated extended cube. It's basically like a half truncated cube, but truncated on all eight corners and extended on the centers and edges. So all the corners have to look like this. Now for the edges. If you make a half truncated cube, you're going to truncate the edges so that they will be a triangle. Do this to both sides of the edges and then they are going to look like this. If you cap the pieces now or fill and extend with epoxy sculpt and then sand again, they will look like this. They, the pieces are capped, so they are hollow at the inside. This is how it looks like now. And now we will set the center extension in. Uh, my center extension is made out of a piece of wood that I painted, but I would suggest you take a one by one QB or like an edge and glue it onto the center cap and then just um, sand it down. I think you can get the idea now and if you do this to all the 12 edges the 8 corners and the 6 centers you have your tribus octahedron you can either um, you can if you want to send down the corners more and that's just for personal preferences then the cube is going to be smaller and yeah, I don't know if you like it better if it's smaller, but I like it this way. And that's basically it. If you make a half truncated cube, but on all eight corners, if you truncate on all eight corners instead of four, extend the centers and edges, you have a tribus octahedron. You should get the idea of it now, and good luck building it. Bye bye.